be different. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to cover two key things with you guys and kind of see if you guys want to go along with me for the ride. So the first thing I want to talk about here is how to grow your small account. And then the second one would be um, a challenge that I am trying to put together um, of taking a thousand dollars that uh, that you can actually stretch it or grow that thousand dollars throughout 2021 and see how far we can go. So starting in January, we can we'll put a thousand dollars in a in a uh, trading account and see how we can grow that account. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, one of the questions that I've actually been getting from a ton of you guys is always like, how do you do it? How can I do it? And so um, I'm actually looking at ways that you guys can actually start doing it and not just listening to me or listening to other people, but doing it by practicing. And guys, you, you know, practice makes perfect. If you don't practice, you're never gonna get better. So um, I'm gonna, hey, how do you grow your small account? The best way to grow a small account, if you are aggressive and you know exactly what you're doing, then you can grow your small account. But if you take a small account and you're buying ETFs and index fund, that is a 25, 30, 40 years program that you have to sit and wait. The returns are gonna come, but they're gonna be really, really uh, delayed, in my opinion. Uh, if you're looking to supercharge your account, the best way to do it is to find uh, growth stocks, be aggressive, uh, and find stocks that I call aggressive growth. Um, like this year in particular, there's been a ton of stocks that have been in that space of aggressive growth. If you look at a ton of the EV stocks, where a stock go from $9 one day, the next day it's at $27, $28, $40, $50 and within a month. So those are the kind of stocks that you want to look for. And it takes, it takes time for you to find those kind of stocks to trade. So, but you have people here like myself that do this for a living. So you can listen to me, listen to other people, do your own research and find some other stocks and start trading them. So that would definitely help you grow your account. Guys, the, the one thing I've actually noticed too is uh, when you buy a particular stock, let's say you have a thousand dollars, you buy a stock, again, it goes up 10, 15, 20% and then sits there and you just let it sit. And to me, that money stops working once it sits there, right? My strategy is, again, and I say this over and over in videos that you guys watch here. If you put $1,000 into a stock, it goes up and you're up $500, so now you have $1,500. There is no need for you to leave all that money in there to sit and just wait. What I do, again, guys, this is my strategy, so I don't want you leaving comments and telling me how my strategy is wrong because it works for me. So, again, I know some people in the comments are like, oh, no, you know, you have to stay long in the market. I understand that, but in this case, I'm talking about how to supercharge your account, how to grow the account faster. So if I put $1,000 and I'm up $500, I sell and take out that $1,000 and leave that $500 in that, in that particular stock to continue. Now I take my $1,000, I find another opportunity, I put it in there. If I'm up $200, I sell, I leave the $200 in that next stock, I go up. So right now I have two stocks worth $700 total, which is all from the gains that I made. But if I had taken that five, that $1,000 and put it in that one stock and it, it got to say $1,500 and just stayed around that price line and nothing ever moved, it would have been $1,500. But now I have $700 in profit and I still have my $1,000, it makes it $1,700. So again, let me, let me gonna slow down again and explain to you guys. The process simply is not being greedy. Because once you start looking, it's like, oh, it's gonna keep going up, it's gonna keep going up. Then that's where you turn out, uh, your growth is gonna be slow, and then you're gonna lose money in the process because you are a greedy savage. The market doesn't care about you. When you get profit, if you wanna grow your account, when you see profit, take it and move on. Don't sit there and cross your fingers because that this is this is this is not a strategy in the market. Crossing your fingers is not a strategy in the market. So you sit there and cross your fingers and hope oh it's gonna keep going up. That's where you're gonna lose money. So when you see profit, guys, again, pull other initial investment. If your initial investment was one thousand and you're up three hundred dollars. 
That's $300 you didn't have yesterday. So sell and take out your $1,000 and leave that $300. If it continues to grow, fine. If it pulls back a little bit, that's okay. But at least you still have your initial investment of $1,000 that you're going to put to work and keep it moving forward. So that is, to me, that's a strategy that I want you guys to implement to try to grow your account in 2021. Then the next thing I want to talk about here, guys, is this new challenge that I'm actually setting up. And the challenge is simply is putting a thousand dollars in a uh, in an account and see how we can how much we can grow it in 2021. Um, again, the, the idea came from the fact that if you took a thousand dollars and put it in a bank, and uh, let's say your local bank, and just leave it there for the entire year 2021, you go back in the savings account, you probably get three dollars interest. I mean, like that's that's just being honest. You get three dollar interest if you find a good uh, money market account that pays you maybe one percent, one point five percent. Okay, you're still talking less than ten bucks. So uh, what I'm thinking here is, if you take uh, that one thousand dollars and you decided to invest it, can you get a one hundred percent return? It's possible. Can you get 500% return? It's possible, but guess what? We're going to try to aim for over a thousand percent return. So again, guys, this is not for you that uh, is savvy in the market. This is again for beginners, somebody that is just starting out. And the, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this challenge with you guys, I, or I want to do this challenge with you guys, number one is that you are gonna learn in the process. Number two, you're gonna put less capital on the line because I know people that just open an account and put five, 10K in there and ha have no idea uh, what they're doing in the market. You know what I mean? And so this would give you the opportunity to learn and at the same time, minimize your, your exposure to risk and then see how you can grow it. And I, and I think if we, if you guys work together, work together with me, uh, we can grow that account to over a thousand percent. There's so many opportunities in the market that we can totally find to grow that account to over a thousand percent. Again, guys, this is specifically designed for beginners, for somebody that is starting out and doesn't know what to do. Open the account, deposit a thousand dollars in it, and then we'll go from there. I would you track with me and I'll be posting uh, you know what's happening I'll be posting what I'm buying when I'm when I'm buying so you guys can see and I'll and what I need to do is a really good job uh, communicating that to a lot of you guys because it, it would be either you are part of our, our Facebook group or if you are um, if you follow me on YouTube I'll probably do like a, a YouTube story I think yeah there's this is thing like that like you can do stories on YouTube or I do a post on YouTube that's one one too but I mean I'm trying to look for the fastest way that I can communicate that because sometimes um, after hours I, I do trading and I can be like I can see a stock gapping after hours and I want to be able to tell people like hey ticket symbol ACY is going crazy can you jump on there and and, and, and see what you can get so yeah, I want to be able to relate stuff like that to you guys as quick as possible so again guys if you are interested in um, that $1,000 challenge guys let me know in the comment section we are gonna start it get your account ready deposit a thousand dollars in there and this is again, this is not your retirement account. This is not your main tax account. This is solely for you to learn and see how far, if you had saved a thousand dollars in your bank and if you invested it, which one works better? How far can you stretch that 1,000? We're aiming for over a thousand percent. I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, just a thousand, you can do more than that. But guys, trust me. I don't want to be a greedy savage. I want you guys to learn along the way and learn properly. So we're not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you can take your $1,000 and turn it into 1 million and buy yourself a Lamborghini. That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna guarantee that. So this is basically showing that your zero 
your 0.3% that you get on your savings account from your liquor bank, if you take your time and invest that money, you can get over a thousand percent or a thousand percent return on your investment. So that's the strategy here. Again, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. If you are excited and want to be part of it, give that thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. And then starting next year, we are going to set the ball rolling. Um, I'm actually setting up my account right now to put a thousand dollars in it. And I'm going to let you guys know if everything goes smoothly, if the account gets set up the way I want it, I'll let you guys know and then we'll go from there and we can start every day. I'll tell you guys what I bought, what I, what I sold, or if I am anticipating buying anything, I'll let you guys know what I'm buying and when I'm buying it. And if I see anything in the pipeline I'm eyeing, I'll say, hey, this is on my watch list. I'm waiting for it. There's a ton of sparks that are coming up in 2021 and I'm excited about. So I think those are going to be sparks that I'm definitely going to buy in that account. So I'm looking forward to it. So again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and any notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And guys, the best way to support my work here on YouTube, there's several ways you can do it, but the best one is just to give it thumbs up and also share this video with somebody that you think would find the content useful and as always guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated